Welcome to your, your last lesson in the Angles and Polygons unit. And this is just a little kind of brain teaser, brain warmer thing here. Uh, how are these quadrilaterals alike? And if you don't remember what a quadrilateral, quad is one of those kind of root words, Latin, uh, Greek root words that means four. So we're looking at a four-sided shape. So things like squares and, and, and rectangles are an example of a quadrilateral. But uh, these are all four-sided shapes. So how are they alike and how are they different? Okay, so let's kind of let's just kind of do some facts here and start with the sum of the interior angles in a quadrilateral is the same for any quadrilateral. And when I say interior, uh, usually that means inside. So I'm talking about all the angles inside the quadrilateral. They're the same in any quadrilateral. Um, they will always equal the same amount. Kind of like a triangle, all the angles in the interior of a triangle always equal 180 degrees. The quadrilaterals are the same. Let's find out what that degrees is. And I'm not using a ruler, so I apologize. That's not exactly straight. But if I can make this into two triangles, we know that all the angles in a triangle equal 180 degrees. And I have two of these here. Now let me write this out. Now, when we get into angles, like this is angle A here, you can tell it's clearly angle A, but where is angle B if I have this kind of situation? Well, there's there's two kind of angles there, so we're gonna have to use a different way of identifying angles, and that would be saying something like, well, angle B, A, D. Wow, B, A, D. Now the important one is the middle, because that's our vertex, so I'm referring to, maybe we'll get a different color here, angle B, A, D, so I'm referring to this guy here, okay? Well, angle B, A, D meets angle A, D, B, and that also, if I add angle A, A, B, D, oops, angle B, D. Now, angle A, D, B and angle A, B, D look very similar. And you might think they're the same angle, but they're not. They're not. So look for the midpoint. This is our vertex letter. Okay. Well, those three angles they equal 180 degrees. We know that's a fact from our previous lesson. Also, in addition, angle B D C plus angle D C B plus angle uh, C B D. Those two equal 180 degrees. Well, when I have two things that have equal 180 degrees, well, I'm gonna add them together. And if you don't have figured that out, all angles in a quadrilateral, all the interior angles that is, equal 360 degrees. That's our new fact, okay? So we can use the sum of these angles in, in a quadrilateral to find the measurement of angle S in quadrilateral PQRS. And that's how we identify this. Uh, I have a shape on the side, P, Q, R, S. Those four line segments create that quadrilateral. We know just from the previous slide that the sum of the angles in a quadrilateral is 360 degrees. So knowing what I know, can I figure this out? Angle S. Now I didn't use the, the fancy three thing there. I could have put angle P, S, R or R, S, P. Um, that is the exact same thing. Angle R, S, P, or another way of writing as angle P, S, R. It's the same thing because the midpoint is our S there. So angle P plus angle Q plus angle R plus angle S equals 360 degrees. What we're saying is all the angles equal 360 degrees. So since uh, P is 68 degrees, angle Q is 126 degrees, angle R is 106, well, let's add those all together. 68 degrees plus 126, de 126 degrees plus 106 degrees plus S is 360. Well, 300 is um, the answer we get when we add all those three degrees up, and we add angle S in there, we get 360. So 300 plus what equals 360? Well, 360 minus 300 is 60 degrees, so angle S is 60 degrees. I'm gonna get you to try this one. I would like to know, what is the measure of angle A, B, C? Now, what I like about geometry in these situations, this is kind of a puzzle. You gotta have, kind of 
take some things you know and apply it to the quadrilateral here. Okay, right, so if you haven't figured out, if you don't understand angle ABC, B is the vertex, so I'm referring to this angle here. So that is what I'm looking for. Okay, and let's establish what I know and what I don't know. I know that line segment DF extends beyond the quadrilateral. Okay, so remember all the things in the in the quadrilateral equal 360 degrees, but let's kind of piece this together so we can get to um, angle ABC. Well, the first thing I might want to do is look at this um, this 125 degrees over right here. Now this is a straight line. Straight angles are 180 degrees. So what is on the other side there? 125, well, 55 degrees. If I do 180 minus 125, I will get 55. Okay, well that's gonna help us because now we have, uh, we have a quadrilateral inside a quadrilateral. And if I add 103, 55, 105 I should be able to figure out this guy here and that might be able to help me so what is 105 103 well just those two is 208 let's add the 55 to it that's a 13 carry that to 6 263 degrees I have 263 degrees so I need to go 360 minus 263 and that will get me angle CBD angle CBD okay uh, I'm gonna borrow that's comes a 5 10 minus 3 is 7 I have to borrow again 2 15 minus 6 is 9 that means that this angle here is 97 degrees well can I use that information to help me find a B C yes I can because and then again we have this other straight line here if I know this guy I should be able to know this guy so 180 minus 97 should get us our angle so I'm going to borrow 7, that's a 3, I'm going to borrow here again, 17, our angle A, B, C, so uh, write this, angle A, B, C equals 83 degrees. Okay, so what we're using here is quadrilaterals to solve problems, and we learnt today that all the interior angles in a quadrilateral equal 360 degrees. So there you have it, lots of four-sided objects in our lives, knowing that any of them, if I add up all the interior angles, 360 degrees, again, like the triangle, is kind of a little mind-blowing, okay? So since those four-sided objects are in our life, it's kind of part of our life, math is our life now. So remember, in life, math happens. Take care.